Hey everybody, several months ago I upgraded my CNC machine to this big industrial cam master. And through that process there were lots of upgrades to the shop. Things like electrical, compressed air, making my background look pretty. But one of the upgrades that I didn't want to lose sight of was dust control because I like to keep my shop and my lungs clean. I was looking for one single solution that would be exclusively dedicated to the cam master. Now by now most of us have heard about the Harvey G700, but I wasn't aware of anyone who was using it as a single solution exclusively with an industrial CNC machine. Now look, I'm not a review guy. I don't do unboxings or side-by-side -side comparisons. I'm definitely not a nomenclature guy, so I'm not going to talk about CFMs or any other technical information about the Harvey. I really don't care about all that stuff. I just want the equipment that I have in my shop to work flawlessly for the application that I put it to use for. The other thing is if you see me using a piece of equipment in my shop today and I like it, you'll probably see me using the same piece of equipment five years from now. So let's jump into the Harvey G700 and my observations as it applies to a dedicated dust control solution for an industrial CNC machine. The Harvey arrived, it was very well crated, there was no damage. It was actually bolted to the crate, so you had to unbolt it and lift it off. There was very little assembly required to get it up and going. Now once I decided where this thing was going to live permanently, I had to run some duct work over to the CNC machine. Now I didn't do or use anything special. I used metal pipe that you buy from a big box store anywhere. I assembled everything using self-tapping screws and I sealed up all the connections with that metal tape. The ductwork rises about 12 feet to a central location. There it's connected to a piece of flex hose that rides along a piece of unistrut on a roller wheel. I used an upright portable dust collector for years with the old CNC. I thought it did a pretty good job, but it always left a mess behind that I had to clean up. But that was my only point of reference. I've been really impressed at the night and day difference that the Harvey has made. Now over the last few months, I've had the opportunity to cut a variety of different materials using the Harvey and really put it to the test. There are a few materials that I routinely cut that always made a huge mess with the old CNC setup. First is high density urethane. I do a lot of sign work and work primarily with that material. Now when you're cutting high density urethane and you're using the correct feeds and speeds, you get these beautiful, large, highly static chips and they stick to everything. If you're making shallow cuts or using a ball nose, you turn that material basically into a very fine gritty particulate. It's very difficult for a dust collection system to evacuate this material. I used to get it all over the old CNC to the point that I would just wait until the next day when the static would discharge and everything would fall to the ground to come back in and sweep everything up. With the G700, that's a thing of the past because it leaves virtually no material behind. Second is plywood. Plywood chips are pretty small when you're using the correct feeds and speeds. With the old CNC setup, I would end up with a lot of dust everywhere. With the Harvey G700, again, it leaves virtually no dust behind. Third is slabs. I really didn't like doing slabs back then. My old dust collector just didn't have enough power to capture all this material that this large cutter was creating and swirling around in this vortex inside the dust boot. Ultimately, it would end up just blowing dust out the back of the dust boot. The G700 has enough power to capture and evacuate all this material long before it has an opportunity to blow out the bottom of the dust boot. Finally is MDF. That stuff just inherently creates a lot of dust. I manufacture MFT style worktops for a product that I have called track tubes. Each unit has a lot of holes, slots, pockets, and a large profile cut. Again, the G700 hasn't had any trouble evacuating all this waste material. The Harvey has performed equally well on a variety of other materials I've tested it with. Things like hardwood, aluminum composite, which always makes a mess, and acrylic, which can sometimes be difficult to evacuate. I've worked in some shops that have these large stationary dust collection systems and when you turn them on they're so loud you can't hear yourself think and they put out an uncomfortable amount of heat. 
the G700 is really quiet and it doesn't add significantly to the heat that's already being generated by the CNC. I'll tell you about some other features that I really like about the Harvey aside from its ability to collect dust. One is they include this little key fob remote. So when I'm standing at the control panel of the CNC, all I have to do is hit the button and turn the unit on. Another feature that I like about the Harvey is when the dust bin is full, it'll essentially shut the unit down. Now this can be a double-edged sword when you're using a CNC and doing a large carving or running a large tool path. You don't want it to shut down in the middle of that. But I have a workaround for that. It's called using a little discipline and simply checking the dust bin and emptying it if necessary before you start your next project. Speaking of emptying the dust bins, it's real easy to do on this machine because everything is conveniently located and easy to access. Simply twist these knobs, the door opens, and there you have easy access to the dust bins. In closing, with some shop tools like a table saw, you can't see the dust that's being left behind and dropped in the cabinet. With a CNC, you can't fake it and you can't hide it. It either goes away or it doesn't, and you'll know it. My goal in this video was to discuss the performance of this machine that I've observed in a fairly high volume and diversified shop. So for my application, and based on my experience with the machine, I'd give it a 10 out of 10, and I definitely recommend. Thanks for watching.